Hey, how's it going? Rich Lee here, and I'm going to be taking a look at Aubameyang here. And um, yeah, he's moved out to right midfield this time, FIFA Ultimate Team. He was a striker last year, and he got me 188 goals and 193 appearances from that position. Stayed with me all the way from Division 10 to Division 1, so he's absolutely mental. Absolutely brilliant striker. And um, yeah, he did score a lot of goals from headers, and headers are a lot more difficult in this game. So yeah, with the position change and the fact that headers are a lot more difficult in this game, I thought that he wasn't going to be as effective. But to be honest, I had a lot of fun playing with him in the games that I played with him in FIFA Ultimate Team on the demo so far. And um, yeah, my only criticism of him would be that his marking and his tackling are poor. And um, yeah, you notice that a lot more than you did previously now that he's on the right wing. So um, yeah, that would be my criticism of him. That he, if you're tracking back with him, then he's pathetic. But attacking wise, he's got even better shooting than before. And um, yeah, he's absolutely amazing to play with. Got three star skill moves, three star weak foot. And um, to be honest, the skill moves feel better than that. His weak foot feels better than that as well. And um, yeah, he's just a really awesome right midfielder. Cut inside of him, score a lot of goals. And um, yeah, I mean, I wasn't looking forward to playing with him particularly because of the position change. But to be honest, I think I prefer him this year to how I did last year, to be honest. Like, he's so good in this game. And um, yeah, he's really well suited to the right midfield role, I'd say, other than tracking back for defending because his defending is piss poor. So yeah, anyway, I I'm going to take a look at some of the highlights from playing with him then. And um, yeah, enjoy. Okay, so starting out with a game against Barcelona then, and Aubameyang gets off to a good start. Shot gets blocked, but he keeps on going, keeps on moving through the Barca defence, and um, yeah, puts a lovely shot away there into the corner of the goal. And um, yeah, it was a quality goal. And yeah, got a replay of it there. Moves smoothly, moves in, hits it with his freestyle weak foot, bang in the corner, lovely goal. And um, yeah, he continues to cause problems, running around. Causing problems with Barca defence, and um, yeah, that gets saved, and they managed to get it away. And um, yeah, here you go again, he's causing problems here against Napoli this time. Turns around, smashes it in the net of his right foot. Didn't want to play it on his weak foot, so I turned it, turned it over onto his right foot, and yeah, got a nice goal there. And um, yeah, he ran into the other player there, which is a bit frustrating, but yeah, anyway, he got the ball. Thought he was going to run into Messi, I think it was, who was in front of him, but no, he kept running with it. Got lucky there, and uh, got another goal. So yeah, he keeps getting goals in the ultimate team in the demo for me. And then um, yeah, here you go, he leaves everyone behind there. Runs up the pitch with the ball, takes it on, get checked with a nice save there to deny him a goal. And yeah, moving through again, causing Chelsea problems, gets taken down for a free kick there. And yeah, continuing to cause problems, moving down the wing here, moves in on goal, takes it into the box, and I went for a skill shot there, which didn't really work out, but yeah, nice free kick there as well against the bar. And um, yeah, he's good at set pieces as well as just general shots. And um, there you can go. See him running at defence again, causing problems, smashing it from outside the box. And um, yeah, lovely goal again. Smashing it into the corner of the net. And um, yeah, nice goal from distance. I really enjoyed that one. Just the way he ran like the half the length of the pitch and then just smashed it in. Absolutely incredible. And um, yeah, I, just, I thought the keeper could have better, done better when I first saw it. But nah, like, when I watched the replay, it's just a lovely shot to be honest. There you go, this time you can see him setting up his check. And I included this clip because it just shows that they're going to be amazing together again. Both of them down the right, playing the ball off to one another. And um, yeah, you can see Piszczek getting through there and smashing it into the back of the net. So yeah, those two together in FIFA Ultimate Team and FIFA 15 should be absolutely incredible. And um, yeah, you can see Aubameyang getting into the box there again. Gets a fairly awful shot away. The ball comes out to a overlay and yeah, gets saved. And again, penalties look like they're going to be really difficult to stop because I don't know what more the keeper could have done about that one, but yeah, still went in the back of the net. And there you go, they're causing problems for Liverpool, taking them on, they just can't touch him. And um, yeah, he gets it in the goal somehow. Like, that's another example of terrible goalkeeping, to be honest. When you watch the replay back, it just it bounces through his legs and um, yeah, he really should have stopped that. Like, sometimes the keepers are so overpowered, other times they're just absolute nonsense, they're just so bad. And that's an example of how bad they can be. Like, yeah, like, he should have saved that for sure, and um, he didn't. So, again, like, Bamiang's coming in, cutting through from the wing. Really nice stop that time. That's an example of how good they can be. But watching the replay, you can see that it was a pretty poor shot, and, um, yeah, he should have done better with that. But, he, again, set piece, God. Nice ball in there to Immobile. And, um, yeah, good goal from Immobile there. Quality ball in from Bamiang. And um, yeah, proving that he can score, um, proving that he can put in set pieces as well as score goals. And um, yeah, I was really impressed with him, to be honest. Like, he scored a lot of goals, set up a few as well. And um, yeah, to be fair, I'm really looking forward to playing with him in FIFA 15 Ultimate Team. 
like I said before, he was a striker in FIFA 14 Ultimate Team, and he scored me a lot of goals, he scored a lot of headers, and with him not able to score as many headers this year, because headers have been made a lot harder within the game, and also he's on the wing, so he's not going to get into as many heading opportunities. I didn't know if I'd particularly enjoy playing with Bamiyang this year, but he's proved me wrong, to be fair. He's done a lot in that demo, um, scored a lot of goals for me. Admittedly, I was trying to score goals in these games, because... I, was, I knew I was going to make this video, so I was just kind of passing the ball to Aubameyang a lot and trying to do things with him. But, yeah, I think it'll be a good player to play with in FIFA 15. And, um, yeah, to be honest, I'm really looking forward to playing with him. And, um, yeah, he should be a lot of fun again. So, yeah, if you're playing with a Bundesliga team in FIFA Ultimate Team, then, yeah, definitely look him up in FIFA 15 because he looks absolutely incredible again. And, yeah, seems like it'll be a lot of fun to play with once again. Okay, so that's that for now, then. I'll be back again soon with another player review. And um, yeah, like I've been really enjoying the demo so far and I can't wait to play the game itself properly. So yeah, bring on FIFA 15. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.